everyone, welcome to another Power Gaming video. This is going to be week two of Nightfall vs. True Meaning of War, and we're going to jump right in. But first, let me explain how the scoring system works. So each reward that you can get from these activities will be given a point value. So five points for strange coins and three of coins, because those equal exotics. Four points for an exotic item, whether it be weapon or armor, regardless of what it is, regardless of the role. Three points for legendary gear. This includes weapon and armor only. Two points for a ghost shell, a class item, or any Eververse Trading Company item, which be a Sparrow, tr Sparrow Toolkit, uh, emotes, stuff like that. That's, that's all worth two points. And a one point reward is a drop from the boss, either an exotic Ingram or a strike specific piece of gear. If we pick up one of those two things, it is worth one point. Legendary Ingrams from the boss do not count. So now that we've got the scoring system laid out nice and neat, let's go ahead and jump right in, starting with a Nightfall, starting with a Titan. Let's do this. So this week's uh, Nightfall was the Undying Mine with Void Burn. It was pretty easy as long as you melted the boss relatively quickly. Specialist was on, so Void Snipers were king. And uh, you can see here, first Nightfall, we pick up an Imago Loop. Now remember, that is one point. I'll go ahead and show you the perks. Not that it matters. Uh, the perks have nothing to do with the scoring system. You guys just always ask what the perks were. And for our aftermatch reward on the Titan, we pick up a Ghost Shell. So that is a total of three points for the Nightfall for the Titan. Moving on to the Warlock, uh, same loadout, Void, Sniper, all that good stuff. You want to just go ahead and hit him in his little beak and uh, melt him as quickly as you can. And as you can see, we have an exotic engram laying on the ground. That is plus one point for the Warlock. And looking at our aftermatch rewards, uh, the Warlock actually gets a pretty decent one in the form of Strange Coins. I love me some strange coins, plus five points, bringing the Warlock's total to six points for the Nightfall. Very good week for the Warlock. Moving on to the Hunter, as you can see, I was dead when my buddies killed the boss. And we go over here and we see that legendary Ingram on the ground, but it is a Gauntlet Ingram. And we do not count those because those are just a regular drop, just like the blue ones. So that's nothing special there, no point for that. But we do pick up five points in the form of strange coins bringing the total points for the Nightfall across all three characters to 14 points. Now that is a very, very solid week in the Nightfall, if I do say so myself. Now, on to True Meaning of War. Now, True Meaning of War this week, uh, before we jump into the rewards, I just want to say that you guys know I'm not a Crucible guy. I've been grinding the shit out of Crucible lately to do these True Meaning of War packages, and it is starting to take a toll on me, man. Uh, I, this past week in Crucible was just an absolute headache for me. So, that being said, I'm spending hours in the Crucible, a place that I do not like, so that I can make these videos for you. So if you enjoy these, man, mash the shit out of that like button, dude. Seriously, because I'm busting my ass in the Crucible to make these videos for you. But anyway, enough of the sob story. Let's start with the Titan, Untrue Meaning of War. And uh, let's see what we get here. A boom. We get an in times of need shotgun. You can see that it does drop at 330 or at a, at a good light level. But again, light level and perks don't matter. I'm just showing you these perks so you can see what they are because you guys always ask me. But uh, yeah, legendary weapon for True Meaning of War. That is three points for the Titan. Next up on the Warlock, the Warlock pulls some strange coins. Plus five points for the Warlock. Fantastic. And lastly, on the Hunter, let's see what we get. Going to be a close race this week. A boom, NL Shadow 701X Scout Rifle for three points, bringing the true meaning of war point total to 11, which means the Nightfall has won this week, bringing our total to one apiece. That is one for the Nightfall and one for True Meaning of War. So we're all tied up, guys, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this new format. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. I really like the point system. I think uh, it's balanced really well, and I think we're going to have some pretty pretty decent competitive uh, you know, rankings 
each week. I think it's going to make for some entertaining videos. But anyway, drop a comment in the box below. Let me know if you agree with the point system, or if you don't agree with it, how would you change it? But anyway, that is it for the Nightfall versus True Meaning of War. Now, last week, I gave a shout-out to a fellow YouTuber that I had came across, and I enjoyed his content, and we are going to keep with that. So this week's featured channel is going to be Envious Gaming. This guy does some ridiculous glitches, man, and if you are a fan of glitches in Destiny, this is a channel that you need to go subscribe to right now. Last time I checked, he had about 6,500 subs. He's growing fast. Uh, he was featured in one of More Console's videos. Uh, More Console did one of his glitches, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm calling this. If anybody glitches into the Plague Lands before Rise of Iron, it's probably going to be this dude. His link will be down in the description box below. Go check him out, and when you do, make sure that you tell him Pyro sent you. But anyway, guys, that's going to bring this video to an end. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click like if you're new to the channel, click subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.